Well, hey, welcome all you wiretappers out there back here in Studio Gangland Wire. I've got a special Christmas bonus edition tonight. And I say tonight, I don't know when you're going to listen to this, but I have Adam Flowers from Las Vegas, good friend of mine, good friend of a lot of yours out there, good friend of our friend Red, Red Wimette. Can't, I'm stumbling over my mouth here with Red Wimette, but Red, you you understand. <laughs> Adam has a tour out there. It's called Vegas Specialty Tours. Some of you may have taken it. He he got started with Frank Culotta, but anyhow, welcome, Adam. It's really good to have you on here. Hey, Gary. It's good to be on again. It's good to see you. Really. And, and we haven't talked for a while, and, and we we talk every once in a while about this kind of business of uh, of uh, the mob, if you will. Mm-hmm. And and you got started with our friend Frank Culotta, who was the first mob guy that I got in this business. I wanted to get Frank to be do an interview with me for my first movie, Gangland Wire, which was about the skim from Las Vegas, because he was, you know, part of that. He worked for Tony Spilatro. And 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 when he came into witness protection, uh, then he started doing his own thing in Las Vegas. He, he started going to uh, he wouldn't do my interview. He was real new into witness protection when I did this and, and, and he wanted me to pay him and I didn't have a bunch of a budget. So I offered him 500 bucks and he said, man, that won't even get me into Las Vegas. But, but he eventually really lives in Las or lived in Las Vegas for a while and started his tour and you ended up hooking up with him. How, how did that come down? So here's how it happened. Uh, in, in back in 06, I moved to Las Vegas and a producer, Robert Allen, was just putting the Vegas mob tour together. Uh, Dennis Griffin had published his book, Battle for Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Robert stumbled upon the book and he was already running a ghost tour. And he thought, huh, look at all the places they talk about in this book. We could do a little tour of Vegas and tell the mob history. Yeah. And he got reached out to Denny Griffin, who put in touch with Dennis Arnoldy and uh, Frank Collada. Frank, Dennis, and Denny became consultants for the tour company. Two and a half years into me doing the Vegas mob tour for Robert, Frank rode the tour with NBC Dateline. And I was telling jokes during the tour and I pissed off Frank. <laughs> and he got up in the middle of the tour and threatened to kill me. And um, <laughs> I believe the, it. <laughs> the straw that broke the camel's back is when I said, and this book right here, this is by Denny Griffin. <laughs> that was it. He said, that's my book. I started late into me. Next day, the producer said, you can't do the tour anymore, Adam. So I can only have you do the ghost tour. So I went off and pursued the magic and entertaining. And then years later, the producer passed away. Robert passed in 2016. And at the time, he had produced the Frank Collada Casino Tour. Him and Frank would do it twice a, twice a month. Okay, And he started that in 14. Well, when 16, when he passed away, Frank started doing private tours. And that's when, uh, when, when I basically bought the company from, from the producer's widow and partnered up with another producer in town and called up Frank and said, Hey, you remember me? I said, well, let's work together now. And uh, it, it was, yeah, it was, it was a, it was a weird uh, five, your relationship that turned into a, the most unlikely friendship. Yeah. And uh, it was just, yeah, really, uh, really wild. That, that's how I got started and got involved with the whole thing. And um, yeah. Well, I always wondered how that, that went, that came down. I knew it was, seemed like it was his for a while. And and then uh, all of a sudden you and him were doing it. And, and uh, yeah. you know, and now you've, you've had to take it over. Of course, was, as some of you may or may not know, uh, and Frank died, what, Two years 2020? ago, twenty twenty, twenty twenty is the start of COVID. I think it got COVID actually, sure and did. Uh, died uh, early in the COVID thing. So uh, he was uh, he was an interesting guy, that's for sure. Just, that's 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 an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> that's an understatement. He was he know. was pretty. He pretty was wild. even like doing marriages. He would marry. You could get married. Married by, by the Frank mob. Frank Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Frank Gulotta married a couple in Tony Spilatro's front room. I remember when house. he was advertising <laughs> that. Yep. Unbelievable. <laughs> that one was kind of expensive. I remember, right? But <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's, that's uh, a really interesting little tidbit about Las Vegas history and Las Vegas that a lot of people don't know about. And you're still doing tours and you do yep. some mob tours and some ghost tours or what are you doing we, now? We, so we do the ghost tours in the evening. We do the mob tours in the afternoon, but for this Christmas, we are opening the Vegas crime tour. 
Oh, great. Wow. Brand new tour. I've been working on it for a year and I've been really grinding for about six months, putting it together. And it's going to include everything from arsonists start the Hilton on fire, um, sex trafficking, kidnapping. Uh, Steve Wynn's daughter was kidnapped mm-hmm. and had, had got a $1.4 million ransom that he went down to the cage at the Mirage and took the money right out. Uh. Um, there is John Wayne Gacy tied into Las Vegas. Oh, I didn't know that. I uh, you know not a lot of people do. Really? We have crimes from Dean Martin. Um, there was the Sunrise Hospital where the angel of death was supposedly going around. And they had a dead pool where the doctors and nurses were betting on when the ICU patients were going to die. Oh, um, oh yeah. Cold. yeah. <laughs> and uh, then you have car bombings. The William Coulthart, the first uh, FBI agent that was car bombed, probably by the hitman um, father-son team, Al and uh, Bramley Hanley. Alan Bur- ha- Hamley Bramley. Anyway, they were a hitman, father son team. Huh. Probably worked for Benny Binion, who's also another topic on the tour. We got some filming locations downtown, spots that were in the movie Casino that we yeah. don't show on the mob tour. Um, and uh, and and uh, then you have the October one mass shooting, the worst massacre in American history. Yeah, yeah. So how do you put that? How do you put a crime tour together and not talk about that? Yeah. But how do you do it? How do you, you know, we thought it would be distasteful to, to really feature it and go into the, the, the guy who did it and all. So uh, how do you, but you know, to do, do a crime tour and not include it would be insulting to the 58 yeah. people that lost their lives that night and the hundreds that were injured. And yeah. So is there any kind of a memorial for the people that's there? Yes. The as a matter, line, so. matter of fact, after the shooting three days, it took three days, some landscaping companies, tons of volunteers from the community. The city donated a piece of land downtown right in the middle of the concrete jungle, and they built a healing garden. And yeah. it's uh, 58 trees are planted and the pictures of all these victims. And then in the center, they have a big heart-shaped planter and a Siegfried Wright donated a tree for the uh, center of it, a big mm-hmm. tree, uh, the tree of life. Mm-hmm. And so we're going to stop at the park and we're going to get out yeah, and walk be- through it and yeah. uh, to, to see it about the middle of the tour when we're downtown. And then at the end of the tour, they're going to see the, where, you know, where it happened. See it happen where it happened. Yeah. That's, that's a perfect way to do that. That was really it skillful is. of you guys to do it like that. And we're going to talk about the first responders that yeah. were taking people to sunrise hospital. When we go by sunrise UMC downtown, uh, the police officer, the first it was he was his first day on the job, Bradley Cook, and he took a took a bullet, and uh, one of the other officers and him stole a police car <laughs> to get down to UMC. So mm-hmm. we're gonna we're gonna talk about their story. We're gonna talk about the SWAT officer who uh, well, his son called him. His son was at the concert yelling, "Dad, we're taking you know we're getting shot at," and he could hear the yeah. shots in the background. Don't worry, buddy, I'm on my way. You know, we got the body cam footage and him running down the hallway, talking to his son and his son saying, he's over here at the Excalibur. And he said, I'm going to get to you, buddy. I got to go kill this guy though, right now. And, uh, yeah. and, and the kids like kill that MF for dad. Love you. Man. Love you, buddy. Bye. I mean, this it's intense. But really? Those are the, those are the heroes of the, that day. Yeah. That story's about a community coming together and people helping people during a horrific, horrific, yeah. um, you know, not necessary act of, uh, you know, violence. Uh, interesting. But that's the only way to tell the story. How yeah, else that's true. It? That's true. Well, yeah. I, guys, if, if you go out there, he's going to, what, what day is it going to start? Like Christmas day or before it Christmas opens, uh, it opens the day after uh, Christmas. Okay. So the week between Christmas and new year's, okay. I think we have it going out three or four times right now. Okay. So Where yeah, can they book tickets, but if you have tickets in advance, Vegas get, specialty tours.com. Okay. Vegas, Vegas special tours. Tours. Com, and then book that Christmas tour. New the new one they've got. You go to the mob museum on Christmas Day, and then the next day you can go on this uh, go on tour. the crime tour. Yeah, <laughs> on the crime tour. I have a feeling <clears throat> mob is is kind of a small audience. So yeah. is ghost. It's a small yeah. audience. I think that crime is going to be a much much more broad audience. So I'm hoping really is going to attract some people. 
Yeah, you're talking about you know from a from a uh, practitioner <laughs> view mm -hmm. or my view, and I look at this stuff is when you incorporate the horror crimes in there, as you're saying, this crime, John Wayne Gacy, and those other kinds of crimes, then you broaden out a lot more people are are going to show interest. The the mob is definitely for the mob aficionado. The, there's this, there's a certain group of people, and I love y'all. But then there's another group of people that really like that horror crime kind of stuff. So that's yeah. Uh, yeah, we got OJ Simpson being oh, arrested yeah. out here. Right. <laughs> I, I I scored a piece of memorabilia. It's an eight by ten photo of OJ autographed, and it has the evidence sticker, the Nevada State <laughs> evidence sticker. It was used, and it was one of the pieces he was going in the room and kidnapped the guys and tried to rob. So we have that to pass around the bus. It's uh, it's going to be really cool, uh, very interactive. <laughs> anyway, after you do the crime tour, then you can go watch the Bellagio Fountains as they play their Christmas songs. Ah. They do that at Christmas out here. And uh, they have an ice skating rink at the Cosmopolitan. Um, and you can't miss the Bellagio. After you watch the fountains, go inside because they always decorate the conservatory inside. And uh, giant Coca-Cola polar bears and... Mm -hmm. um, um, and another producer in town has a glittering lights at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway, That's which you drive through. Yeah, you drive through in the car, you pay, and then you drive through and you get to see all the displays and the twinkle lights. Mm -hmm. And uh, they also have the um, uh, cactus garden at FLMs. If you're into the lights, they decorate that. They do the Springs Preserve in town, too. They put a little walk together with all the Christmas lights. I remember going there a few years ago. Um, Santa in the shipwreck. That's at Mandalay Bay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The Christmas tree. The Venetian does a big Christmas tree. I know Fremont Street does too. They have giant, giant ornaments on it. Yeah, I bet. Nice I to walk imagine. around. <laughs> now you go to Fremont Street, though, be sure you're going to have the you know street performers out there. Yeah. And they got Santa and Santa's little helpers, little <laughs> sexy little helpers. <laughs> yeah. street performer. Be careful and keep your wallet in the front pocket. <laughs> but Santa does have yes. some sexy little helpers. <laughs> yes, yes. That's, that's what you get out here in Vegas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is the adult yeah. Christmas vacation. Yeah. They have the Aria Resort and uh, Casino, the festive uh, lobby display that they mm -hmm. put up. Um Red Rock Casino does the same thing. The Tournament of Kings over at uh, Excalibur, they do a special Christmas show. Okay. Some of the some of the, the entertainers oh, you're going to go see, they always put Christmas songs into their show, uh, like the Rat Pack is back. Um, they do Christmas songs, change it up. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And if you have time, go rent one of the helicopters and do a night flight over the strip. You know? Yeah. <laughs> You want to see a lot of twinkling lights? That's the view. The night view <laughs> I can imagine. Street. I can only imagine. Yeah, that's uh, well, yeah. Well, they, they put on. I, I thought they might put on the dog for Christmas. I didn't really know. I've never been out there at Christmas time. So uh, that's yeah. the reason I wanted to call you up and, and share this with the uh, wiretappers out there. So I know a lot of them are have been to Vegas and go to Vegas periodically yeah. and they have an interest in gambling. I noticed one of the, the a guy told me, he said, uh, uh, I've got ads on the audio podcast. He said they're putting back to back ads for the new betting app because we now have sports betting just across state line in Kansas. I'm actually in Missouri, yes. but right here across a few, uh, like a mile from me, if you got the app, you can make a sports bet. So they're doing back to back betting apps is one of the ads on the podcast. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so uh, it's, uh, my guys like to gamble. They, they like to drink. They like to smoke star cigars, and they like to gamble. And some of yeah. them like to ride motorcycles. <laughs> sure, sure. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Adam. Anything else that uh, you want to share with uh, my guys out here that they might think about seeing when they're out there in Las Vegas at Christmas time? Well, that's. I mean, those are the highlights. Those are the things that really. Uh, go on here in town for um for christmas i know they also do a light show they also do a christmasy light show on fremont street yeah so yeah so you get on there to see the christmas tree and uh and the uh you know the 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 sexy showgirls you even see santa elvis yeah 
Uh, Elvis, the Elvis yeah, impersonators. That, yeah, they that do makes their, sense, you know, yeah. Yeah, you got to, you got to, yeah. They're going to have a, a what is this? Um, uh, well, I can't read my own writing here now. I have an Mercy Nutcracker. And Christmas in Hell is some kind of a uh, uh, production. So they've got about five or six different productions that uh, that are just to have Christmas themes to them at the different casinos. So, well, that'll be wow. uh, quite a time in, in old Las Vegas at Christmas time. Should be. It should be All a right. lot of fun. Christmas in Hell, a musical comedy. I didn't know about this. That sounds interesting. What's that? The the Christmas in Hell. Christmas in Hell, yeah. A dark co comedic holiday show will offer audiences one hell of a musical adventure. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I don't know. I was going see. through the month of December and into January. I got to go check this out, huh? And, and, oh. Uh, <laughs> still got all the Cirque Soleil kind of shows there. There's four or five of them still going. Oh, yeah. I don't know if they do a Christmas thing or not, but it's, uh, and, and you know, you get the, the best entertainers. You get really skilled entertainers out there, even even the, the worst of them, the, the most inexpensive shows. They have people that know what they're doing. They have people who can sing and dance and put on oh. light shows and run the light boards and, and do it all. They, they get everything as a top quality production I've ever been to out there. That's why they call it the entertainment capital of the world. Yeah. More shows, performances, entertainers, and stars here nightly than anywhere else on planet Earth. <laughs> all right, Adam. <laughs> awesome. Hey, I, thanks for thanks for having me on again, Gary. All and, right. Um, I, I, I always enjoy talking with you, and I look forward to seeing you when you come out here. I'll be out. I'm going out in uh, uh, last weekend of March. Uh, it's going to be kind of warm, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah, what starts March. to warm up. Oh, yeah, yeah, by, by the right. end of March. It's March Madness. That's cool. Yeah, you, it starts to get to be warm. All right. Be in good. the 80s, 70s, 80s. It's it's yeah. the most that's the most beautiful time of year in Vegas is, is end of March through the end of April. And then right, when May cool. gets here, it's that's it. It's over. It's, it's over. It's, yeah. It's hell. yeah. It's hot. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll be out there in the end of March to you guys. I don't know if I've even mentioned this. I think I did once to do a motorcycle racing school at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. I'm nuts. I know. <laughs> I'm not going to be a racer, but I'm going to see how fast one of those bikes can go uh, on the, on that racetrack at least one time. <laughs> wow! All right, you're going to turn yourself into a into a bullet, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like fun, you know. Open it up and just round you, round go, you go. Yeah, yeah why yep. not? That's that sounds awesome. All right, well, be, be careful when you do it. Yeah, I will. I will. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Adam. Thank you. Have a great day. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Well, wiretappers, now you need to go out to Las Vegas, as you can see, over Christmas time. And and if you go out, take Adam's tour, his new crime tour, and let him know that I sent you out or that you saw him on the show. He'll give you a discount and give you the Gary Jenkins discount. That means it charges about 25% more. No, not really. You, you won't get a discount or an add-on or price either way. But go out and see Adam, and, and he's a good guy. Uh, he's got his own uh, YouTube show on Wednesday nights. It's always live. And lots of times he has Red Womet on there. So you want to tune into that show on Wednesday nights on his uh, YouTube channel. And it's, uh, I think it's called Vlad TV. It's the old Frank uh, Culotta show. Just go on uh, YouTube and, and uh, search for Adam Flowers, in Las Vegas, and you'll find it. Don't forget, I like to ride motorcycles, as I was just talking about. So watch out for motorcycles when you're out there. And if you have a problem with PTSD and you've been in the service or you have a friend or relative that has a problem with PTSD and they've been in the service, be sure and go to the uh, uh, VA website and find that hotline and, and you'll find some help out there. Thanks a lot, guys. Guys. Guys.